with the Brainerd School District set to expand many of its schools over the next few years, the district is now looking to purchase more land to accommodate that expansion. But some landowners are not in agreement with the plan. Our Anthony Scott has more. On April 10th, a $205 million plan was approved to expand the schools in the Brainerd School District. The high school will be remodeled, bringing all four grade levels under one roof, along with a new gymnasium and fine arts center. The new fine arts center that is expected to be built in the next couple of years at Brainerd High School will destroy over 100 parking spaces in the current parking lot. Now the school is looking to acquire additional land for the needed parking. Lincoln Education Center would be deconstructed at the end of this four-year period and we're also looking at the block south of, of that, right north of Quince Street, um, to, and to look at that for parking as well. On Quince Street resides a few family units and the Ed Shaw Law Office, which Brainerd would need to buy out to acquire the land for the additional parking. They're looking to spend millions of dollars in land acquisition, building demolition, for parking that by any measure they do not need. Currently, the north and south parking lots are full every school day, but the lots near the football field are not at full capacity. There's some safety issues with that lot, though, as far as having to climb the steps and, and such to get up to the school. It's probably cheaper to fix a staircase than to, you know, go through all this process and bulldoze buildings and create more parking. At a public meeting held last month, the option of parking ramps were also brought to the school board. There was a concern about that the front of the building was going to be a parking lot and people were concerned that they didn't want a ramp that would cover the looks of the front of the facility. Shaw claims the school did a poor job of contacting him on the issue and does not want to see his property turned into a parking lot. If the district had come to me and said, hey, we're going to build a new educational facility, we're going to expand the high school, we need to put a new gym over there, I wouldn't be here. I would sit down with them and would negotiate a fair price and, and support the process and move on. While the school understands some community members do not want to move, it is being courteous and working with everyone who may be affected. We want to assure any constituents that would be affected with the land acquisition that this is going to be a very respectful process and we want to ensure that we are going to take good care of our public. Along with the high school, the district is also looking to acquire land near three of their elementary schools. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The vote on the land acquisition was originally scheduled for Monday, October 29th, but it has now been postponed until further notice. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.